Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to use eraser tool, scissor tool and knife tool in Adobe Illustrator. We will start with the eraser tool. For each of these tools we will create a fill square and a stroke square. Each time we will select the square before using any tool. After selecting the square, we will select the eraser tool. If we double click on the eraser tool, a window will appear in which we can change its settings. When we use the eraser tool on the stroke square, we will see that that part will be deleted but the stroke will automatically close the deleted area. When using the eraser tool on the fill square, the shape will be deleted and the rest will remain unchanged. The second tool is the scissors tool. We will select the shape and then go to the scissor tool. When we use the scissor tool on the stroke square, it will be segmented in the place of application. It can be used both on anchor points and on places where there are no anchor points. On the fill version we will have to use scissors tool only on the edges of the shape. If we apply two points in different areas we will see that the shape will cut in the direction of the two lines. The last tool is the knife tool. When we use the knife tool on the stroke square we will notice that, unlike the eraser tool, no area will be deleted but only an extra line will appear. That line has the role of delimiting two different shapes. If we keep the shift pressed we will be able to cut in a perfectly straight line. The fill situation is similar to that of the stroke. We will be able to cut without any distance between the newly created shapes. We can say that knife tool is a variant of eraser tool with value equal to zero. It means that it doesn't delete anything, it just cuts. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new tutorial. If you want to make a specific tutorial, do not hesitate to write in the comments section.